Turn back on. No, I'm just joking around. Ten gay states, largest LGB population in the United States. Let's throw some guesses in for the video start. We already know number one, California. We know that. I'm going to say number two, Chicago. I know that might sound crazy, y'all, but Chicago got. Yeah. Chicago's like that. Um. I guess you, you could throw Wisconsin over there, probably, too. Let's go Florida. Florida, yeah. I feel like Atlanta might got some of them down there, too, but who, who knows? This is going to be interesting. Las Vegas. Have you ever wondered what percentage of your state's population is in the LGBT community? Wonder no longer. I'm going to tell you. This is another one of those videos that we get requests about all the time. And it's normally from people in the LGBT community. They seem to think that I ignore the subject. I kind of do. It's not for the reason you'd think. I have family members that are gay or lesbian. They yeah. watch my videos all the time. And like when we did the race videos, there's potential for the comment section to turn into a really ugly situation. So I avoided it because I didn't want to subject people I care about to a hostile comment section. I brought this up to a couple of them at a family event and they said it doesn't matter. So I started out to make the most LGBT friendly states in the union. I later talked to another one of my relatives that's gay, and I was explaining how I'm doing this friendly video, and he said, no, you should just do the percentage of the population that is in the LGBT community. Because that right there says it all. You've got a high percentage of the population, that means it's friendly towards that group. Or at least as friendly as it can get. That made sense. If a place isn't friendly towards your kind, your kind leaves, right? He also said, and I quote, At my level of gayness, there's a lot of places no, I wouldn't I'm live in this country. Those, bro. I asked just him, like, I didn't know there were levels of gayness. He told me to go to Fashion Week or Fire Island, and it'll become Christmas. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing at what he's talking about. I'm, I'm laughing at some other shit, bro. I'm <laughs> so clear. So in case you don't know, LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Yeah. Common variants of the LGBT community are LGBTQ, LGBTQ+, LGBTQIA, and LGBTQIA+. Yeah, there's a lot of letters there. Today we're looking at the states with the highest percentage of their population that are part of the LGBT Let's community. Let's get into Got it. it. Get it good. Let's Got it. Get it good. <laughs> that should go crazy. Number 10, Florida. Florida. If you didn't know Florida, Florida had a large LGBT I said community, Florida. South Beach is extremely expensive. So if you're LGBTQ on a budget, try Ybor City. It's pretty nice. They have the Tampa Pride Diversity Parade every year. It's in March. Check that out. Nice. For those of you Florida, that are in Minnesota during March and thinking it's going to be freezing, no, not in Tampa. 4.8% of Florida's population is in the LGBT community. Number nine, New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a very progressive state so. when it comes to just about everything. If you're looking for something to do in that community, you could check out the annual LGBTQ plus pancake breakfast in Durham, New Hampshire. In 2023, that will be held on April 4th. It'll be at the University of New Hampshire Granite State Room. This year will be its 30th year. If you're in New Hampshire, around the end of June, on June 25th, they have the Nashua Pride Festival, which Nashua is on the border with Massachusetts near Lowell, Massachusetts. You know, that's not a bad place to live, honestly. I've brought it up before. Vermont and New Hampshire, Maine, it, I, they've really grown on me in the last few years. Anyway, 4.9% of New Hampshire's residents are in the LGBT community. Number eight, Maine. Maine. Maine has been a hot spot for the pride parade type going people for some time. I should have, I should, I should have threw them up in there just because. What, the, what the fuck is going on up in Maine? Let, let's be honest. What's going on up there? What the fuck is going on? What is going on up there? What's going on? Look at that. The LGBT community flourishes in Maine, and it shows not just in the amount of the population that is in the LGBT community. Like number the events. Up there. There's a some houses. form of Pride type event every single month in Maine. February 3rd, you got Pride Weekend in Newry. June 17th, you got Portland, Maine's Pride. Night of the Queens on January 28th in Bangor, Maine. And on June 2nd, you got Pride Weekend in Bar Harbor. And stop typing. I know it's Bangor, Maine. Not banger. I love saying it, though. It gets Maine people all worked up. June 17th in Portland, they got a Pride Bar Crawl. 
It's their sixth annual this year. So like I said, they celebrate it, they live it, and it's a strong community here. 4.9% of Maine's population is in the LGBT community. Sick of all the ads like this one? Just head to adskiller.com, click on activate now, Number seven, New York. A New vast York? majority of pretty much anyone in New York is going to be in New York City. Even more so for the gay it. and lesbian community. New York City has legendary gay villages. And that's actually a term, gay villages. It's not a dig or an insult. New York City, you've got the Chelsea neighborhood, Greenwich Village, and West Village. Now, these all have different decades of popularity. I mean, in the 90s, they started leaving Greenwich Village and moving to Chelsea, mostly because it was getting too expensive. This year, Greenwich Village on June 26th has Pride Fest. On June 25th, New York City Pride March. On June Whoa. 10th, you got the Long Island 5K in Long Beach, New York. And if you're a cruising type, they got, on June 25th, the New York City Gay Pride Party Cruise. Now, this isn't like a cruise to the Bahamas or anything like that, which they have plenty of those. you got to know where to get a hold of a travel agent that'll hook you up with one of them. This one just kind of goes around Statue of Liberty and Governor's Island underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Swing by Ellis Island. You'd think they want to go up the East River to North Brother Island, but that's not on the cruise. It stops short of that. It's only like a three-hour cruise. Interesting fact, North Brother Island is where they put Typhoid Mary back in the day. She lived like her last 20 years on that island in isolation. There was other people there, but they just kept her on the island. 5.1% of New York State's population is in the LGBT um, community. Okay. That's questionable, but okay. <laughs> Number six, Washington. Yeah, Washington? this one doesn't surprise uh, me at all. I go up to Seattle and Tacoma all the time, and it's a good-sized portion of that population in those two cities. June, obviously, is Pride Month, and uh, that's when they have their big festivals. I can see it. June I can see 22nd, it. Seattle has the Gay Seattle? Pride yeah. Festival. And then if you want to go out to Pasco, they have it on June 4th. Tri Seattle, Pride Seattle, Festival. Seattle. Obviously, Seattle's going to be huge. Pasco's not that big of an area. But overall, the state of Washington has a LGBT community that takes up 5.2% of the population. Number five, Vermont. The only thing strange about Vermont. this one is it's not right next to New Hampshire on the list. They're always right next to each other. I don't know why That's they're not just one trees, state. Yeah, Erase that line between the two of you and just become like New Vermont. Out. Vermont has quite a few events throughout the year. You got the Winter Rendezvous Gay Ski Weekend. That happens on January 18th through Sunday, January 22nd. That's in Stowe, Vermont. And then you got Burlington, Vermont on September 9th. They have Stride for Pride. They have events throughout the year in Vermont. Like Washington, 5.2% of Vermont's population is in the LGBT You'll community. You'll be surprised how much shit out here in the state, brother, dude. So don't, don't be like, oh, Number four, Just California. Again, this fun. should be no surprise yeah. to anyone. San Francisco California? was like yeah. ground zero for the gay rights movement in the 1970s and 80s. You have the Castro, which is one of the most famous gay villages in the United States. Castro. I'm one of the straightest people there is, and I had a great time in the Castro back around 1989. I was visiting a couple friends from high school that had moved up there. Damn, they got how old is you? <laughs> no, no, no hate, Briggs, but damn, how old are you? I think you probably in your 30s. Sorry, 37, 38. So, get kiss. I guess you probably fooled the other. One of the best things was, I remember this story to this day. I had told my friend, I'm, I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm straight. And everyone down there, he's all, don't worry. They'll know you're straight. I'm all, how? He's all, well, you ever heard of gaydar? It works the other way, too. I'd give you all the different events that California has for Gay Pride Week, but <laughs> I don't have an extra hour. Bro, They've this house is from Friends. Yeah, is this what Friends was cast at right here? Is this... This is, this is interesting. Got something this is interesting. in every city on the west side of the state almost every single month. 5.3% of California's population is in the LGBT community. Number three, Massachusetts. Back to the East Coast we go. They've got quite a little uh, thing going on here in New England. Four New England states? Massachusetts is a gibby. I mean, Boston has one of the biggest pride parades there is. This year it's happening on June 9th. 
The whole weekend is June 9th through the 11th. In the actual city of Boston, there are several neighborhoods with a sizable LGBT community, South End being one of the most notable ones. You also got Jones Hill, Melville Park, and Jamaica Plains. 5.4% of Massachusetts population is in the LGBT community. Number two, Nevada. Yep, heading out west to Nevada. Nevada has a pretty big LGBT community. I said Nevada, Las Vegas. Not yep, trying I'm to stereotype them, but they tend to be in the entertainment business with dancers and show productions, things like that. Well, there's a lot of that going on in Nevada, obviously, Las Vegas, Reno areas. And they have a lot of events. Henderson Pride Fest on June 3rd this year. Vegas Black Pride Spring Pride Festival is in April. Pride Run Vegas in January. February 12th, they have Las Vegas Pride Outside Hike. Yeah, so if you're in the LGBT community, you're not going to, you know, have a hard time finding fun things to do. These two communities are only really going to be in maybe Laughlin, Las Vegas metro area, and Reno metro area. If you move out to like Goldfield, Nevada, looking for a big gay community, you might be lucky if there's one other person. You're on the same dating app. You just keep swiping left on each other. <laughs> Is it really just the two of us in this town? 5.5% of Nevada's 5 .5, yeah. population 5 .5. is in the LGBT community. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This well, um, what's Day. Number one, There's a link down below. We'd love let's it if you went over and subscribed. Let's, All right, let's, let's on to number one. Fuck it. Let's go for it. And number one. Oregon. Oregon. Yes, the state okay. where I currently okay. reside has a very large and strong LGBT community, with the majority of them being in the town I'm in the metro area of right now also, which is Portland, Oregon. We've Portland. got an area Portland. down here known as yeah. the Burnside Triangle, which houses a combination of gay-friendly businesses like independent shops, restaurants, housing, social services, things like that. Oddly enough, it's also known as the Pink Triangle up here. It also has another name you could look up on your own. I'm not going to get into it. If you're not sure where the Burnside Triangle is and you're visiting Portland, if you go to Powell's Books, you're pretty much in it. This year, the Portland Pride Festival is on June 17th. Bend has the Winter Pride Fest 2023. That's on March 1st this year. And August 13th, Eugene Pride March. I didn't know this till just now, but Astoria has one that happens on June 9th. And in Eugene, they have Pride Fest 2023 on August 12th. So there's always something to do if you're in the Pride community. 5.6% of Oregon's population is in the LGBT community. Hey. If you are um, LGBT, hey, maybe you're looking for somewhere to live. Maybe these spots for you to go. Um, I'm just saying in general if you feel, you know. But hey, it's going to do it.